toxicologists have a saying that goes, the dose makes the poison. In other words, there isn't any distinctive line drawn between toxic and non-toxic. Rather, it lies on the spectrum of how much of a substance you consume. So, what is this substance that we are consuming yet are unaware of? Today, I'm going to tell you about a different form of mercury. Not that mercury, the silvery liquid that you find in your thermometer, it is a form of mercury that is hidden within the fish that we eat. And it is 10 times more lethal than its counterpart. This mercury is known as metal mercury. So, metal mercury exists in an organic form, which means that it has a carbon and three hydrogen atoms attached to it. This allows metal mercury to sneak past our many natural defense mechanisms, such as the liver and even the placenta, and only to get concentrated in our bodies in high and higher doses. So imagine this. Small fish with metal mercury gets eaten by big fish with metal mercury and in turn gets eaten by us. So the question lies, how does metal mercury get into the fish? And where does my research fit into all of this? The answer lies in our lakes. In New Zealand, we have our own natural mercury source coming from geothermal emissions from the volcanoes and thermal vents under the lakes. This leads to the production of metal mercury. Now, my research targets the top predator in this particular food chain, trout. And it aims to tell us how much uh, metal mercury that is accumulated in them. So just to paint a picture on the magnitude of the impact of my research, do you know that annually, um, the trout harvest in Rotorua averages to 60 tons? That's the weight of 10 African elephants. <laughs> so to carry out my research, my supervisor and I would go on fishing trips in the Rotorua lakes to bring back trout. From our analysis, we have found that different lakes have varying degree of metal mercury, and this will affect um, the amounts accumulated in fish. This is due to a number of reasons such as low oxygen uh, conditions and also water temperature. As a result, we hope to have a better understanding of how much metal mercury accumulates in our native fish and also for us to provide a public health recommendation uh, in which lakes to fish in. Because there is a saying that goes, we are what we eat. And we definitely do not want to end up like the fish on our dish now, do we? <laughs> Thank you.